You're listening to episode 93 of Buffer Buddies. This is MJ from Up to Up to I'm Tay. And this is a podcast that we do every Friday night or most Friday nights. Um, and we watch a movie and we talk about it and we watch it and then we talk to each other and then we watch some more and then we talk a little more and then you listen to that. And that's what you do. That's your part in this. Um, it, we would do it with friends, and it's like a movie night, but with our friends, and you're a friend, and you're listening, and we're there, and you're there, and we're all having a good time. And tonight's movie is super bad. Wait, what? I thought it was super dad. Oh, boy. You've, you've, you're watching the wrong movie. Actually, we all watch it together, but that would be pretty great. Super dad? Is that a movie? Super uh, dad. That's got to be a movie, uh, right? I thought this was a remake of Three Men and No Baby <laughs> called Super Dad. What is Three Men and, and, and ba- Baby? Three Men and No Baby is this movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Super Dad. This movie's about three, three men, Uh huh. but they don't have a baby. They're trying to become a dad. Super Dad is a movie from 1973. It's a comedy family film. Wait, it's real? Charlie McCready is a worried father. His daughter, Wendy, will be attending college in the fall, and he feels like crowd she's hanging out with has no ambition, especially her boyfriend. Hold on. This is Bart. the movie that we're watching. He knows that Wendy's friends will all be attending the same college, so he concocts a plan where Wendy will receive a scholarship to a different college. This college begins the same. This, uh, <laughs> this college being the same one where his wife had, his attended. All goes as planned. Wendy attends Huntington, and she's less of her old crowd. Soon, Charlie's plan backfires. Wendy discovers her father's scholarship plan and becomes her best. And when she starts dating a hippie artist, Charlie realizes he made a big mistake and must. Wow, this movie sounds so boring. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! But you didn't read the part where it says the movie ends with Wendy's marriage to Bart, but then you find out that Bart is actually another guy named McLovin. Yes. After he pulls off his mask during He's him. He's like, oh, hoi, hoi. <laughs> I'm McLovin. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. hoi. <laughs> My name is McLovin. I love this. On IMDb, usually when you scroll down to the reviews, there's one review, and it's usually a, like a full 10-star review. I, I don't know. I th- I've always seen just like it's always the best rating. This one, you scroll down, and it's like a five. <laughs> the best rating they could pull is a five-star review. That's great. Wow, the movie sounds terrible. Just so the, boring. The, oh, that's shoot. I thought oh, you are right. We are watching that one and not super bad. Damn it. <laughs> Let's start this uh bad bad movie then. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I hit the play button. Do, 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 do. That's ba, ba, the ba, wrong ba, ba. that's a different ba, 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 one. Ba, 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 ba. Are we going to get flagged for that? Because my rendition Um, of it was so accurate. What if that was like royalty free this whole time, though? Oh, no. If I if I if that was royalty free, I would like use it in every video just because like, (laughs) well, why why are you using that song? I don't know. They can't stop me. It would be an intro to like everything. Hey, this is like an iPod commercial. Those old ones. Look at look at Jonah Hill go. This says Michael Sarah, but that's definitely not Michael Sarah. Yeah, I thought it was the other way around. Maybe it has. I don't. I guess order. these. Yeah, these. Well, I think that was Michael Sarah first, but his name came second, which was weird. In this weird animation where Jonah Hill came second and his name came first. Crazy. Is this is this an origin story about how we started Twitch streaming? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we definitely did all the things in this movie, which are including. Uh, fighting Josh Peck. They fight Josh Peck in this? I think I'm confusing it with a different movie. I'm trying to think uh, now. I, I, the more I think about Josh this movie, it's like a dream. The more I think about this movie, the ho- less I remember. Like, I'm having a hard time remembering, which is weird. Remember when this movie came out? I'll probably watch it every year because everyone loved this movie and then just never again. I I remember I think I remember the ending 
but at the same time, if they Josh go Peck off to college, and Wendy's dad's plan is <laughs> successful. Oh, then, yeah, that's right. And uh, it's Kurt Russell in this. I don't know who that is. I'm literally the best uh, movie podcast host in the world. <laughs> yeah, we don't know anything. Specifically me, though. I know. Li- <laughs> I feel like I know less about movies than the average person. Josh Peck. Somehow I'm everyone seems to know more about like actors than me. Uh, I need a list of movies that he was in, not Ice Age. Wait, is uh, oh, Michael Sarah's name Bit Evan Taylor. in this? Who are you thinking of? What? Drill Bit Taylor, I think I'm thinking of. Oh. I, 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 I think I saw that and I was like sick, so I don't really remember any of it. I, or I probably fell asleep or something. 2008, bro. Drill Bit Taylor or this? Drill Bit Taylor. What is this, 2007 then? Oh, 1973. Wait, no. no oh, wait, is this still a bit? <laughs> I just looked up and I was like, "That's that was still the super bad, super We're dad was still open." <laughs> yeah. What if Michael Sarah's like sixty years old? Oh my gosh, I believe it. How old do you think Michael Sarah is? Uh, I think he's like thirty-two. Okay. I keep typing okay. "super dad" now. Why did you do this to me? <laughs> I've I've incepted the idea. Uh, Little so, did you know that I took a team of four other people we went inside your dreams and incepted this idea into your little mind palace i was like thing. super dad nope super dad nope back back <laughs> super dad nope super dad super dad <laughs> super dad 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 <laughs> i wish clipping was a thing for podcasts <laughs> well like, you could just take the recorded audio <laughs> Yeah, but it's not the same. It pretty much is 100% the same. There's no there's no easy interface for me to do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, you could get like a ringtone app on your phone. It's pretty pretty easy interface there. I guess. I guess. What were your Do you remember like I'm assuming there was a phase where you would set uh, custom ringtones, no? Yes, no? I mean, I still, so, I stopped doing that pretty recently, I guess. But yeah, I what, used were, to. What are some of your, your songs? Oh, you boy, I don't remember. Why is this, why can't I remember, like, anything from high school? Um, uh, I think I had, like, Mindless Self-Indulgence at some point. That was probably a brief-lived time. Uh, Nope, I, I have a hard time remembering anything. I definitely had um, Story of the Year. Do you remember that band? No. Hold on, let me just. I never listened to them. They were, they were, that was a band I listened to. Oh, I had Three sure. Days Grace yeah. for like, like on my phone. Uh, I definitely had. Uh, the the Final Fantasy uh, fanfare. Wow, freaking nerd! Oh, that's classic. Yeah, everyone had that. That was how you're like, I'm a gamer, and people could point it out. And then uh, <laughs> I've also had like Iron Man noises. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh, I think that was in college. Yeah, and then I've also had and Portal um, Wheatley sounds and stuff. I, I yeah. got. It. That's when we played Portal. It was the first time ever we Portal. played video games. Played Portal, 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 and uh, we were in uh, physics class together. Yeah, that's some history stuff. I don't want to talk about that. Those people should come to the stream if they're interested in having, in knowing about that stuff. Um, I've also had um. <sighs> what was it? It wasn't. It was game related. It doesn't matter, I guess. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that was all in the past. Right now, what my is the pa- well, yeah, past doesn't even matter. My thing is, so I used to set it on my phone because it is pretty easy to do. I'll, you just get ring to maker and you just trim a song and you set it. And it's like great. And I, I, was, I used to do that for like years, and then like maybe four years ago. I realized, like, one, I don't want to be called, so why the hell do I care to customize it? <laughs> Two, 
I pretty much just leave my phone in like vibrate nowadays make out of just like anxiety of forgetting. Well, specifically in college, I always hated the idea of like forgetting and having it go off. And so I just like got in the habit of just leaving my phone in vibrate and just like dealing with that. Because I'm like, why do I even, I don't, I, I look at my phone enough. I don't need to be interrupted by it. If I'm for the second that I'm not looking at it, you know, I don't need more of a thing. So now I don't even care. I just use Android comes with some pretty good default ones. Or Google, at least, or like is my phone every year, Android changes it and gives you different ones. I just pick a nice one from there, and I'm, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it was, it, some, of the, some of the songs, the ringtone songs, are so good, though. They're like orchestra. Yeah, that's and, the thing. They're, they're, yeah. they're actually, like, legitimately good nowadays. They're not, like, anything you recognize, obviously, but I'm like, no, nah, this is nice. Yeah. I usually pick something, like, they have a few that, like, kind of sound, like, vaguely, like, Star Trek-inspired. That's, like, my ringtone is, like, like something kind of like mm. something like a, a tricoder would do or something like that or whatever and so i'm like i do that and that's cool but then again it's just some vibrate all the time i i always try to think when is it when is it going to be socially appropriate to have your phone make a big old noise it's like i'm at work or i'm at movies or like whatever or i'm sleeping and i don't want it to make noise so why why do i why go through the effort of turning on the ringtone for those three hours a day where i'm like yes I could have my phone yell at me. That's true. That's true. That's kind of where I'm um, at. I do remember I also had a, a text tone. I think text tones are more more common. Yes. Yeah. But, but I'm, st- I, I'm more likely to like, oh, I want a good custom text like notification tone. But yeah. I'm still like my phone's a vibrate now. So I don't even do that. Um, but yeah, I remember I had a Gavin Free going Jersey Mike. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> Uh, good times, good times. But now mine is the Final Fantasy 15 ringtone, the actual ringtone that is in the game because they have phones in that game, and it's very, it's a very obnoxious ringtone, but I love it. Thank you so much. If I let's see if I can play it right now and you can hear. Yeah. Is there a faster way to get to my like ringtone setting? Uh, no idea. You hear this? It just sounds like a normal phone. <laughs> so it's just great. beeping. It's just beeping. <laughs> it's like vibrating noises, but without oh, actually the, the vibrating. <laughs> noise is vibration. <laughs> yeah, because in the How game, the insane. phone vibrates. Yeah, but that's not their <laughs> ringtone, though. The ringtone isn't vibrate. You should yeah, have the, the ringtone. Yeah, the ringtone is just beeping, but... You should have the ringtone but... without the vibration and turn on the vibration on your phone. Yeah, but I, it, this is immersive, you know? <laughs> no, it's not. Immersive would yeah, be your phone is. actually vibrating. No, I hate when my phone actually vibrates, though. I rather Then that's the less tone. immersive. <laughs> No, but it's just like it, it can be there. It's kind of like my phone is cosplaying, you know. But anyway, a cosplaying another phone. Yes, it is. Like, so one time I was cosplaying Noctis, and why does I, it sound I, like you're running? <laughs> what is that noise? Oh, sorry, I was I'm playing with like. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a jog now. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, I was playing with a thing. Um, so I was cosplaying Noctis, and I took a picture with a prompto, and then as we were taking a selfie together, my phone did ring. And that prompto, he was like, hey, that's a good ringtone. I was like, okay. No. I was like, thanks. I felt validated. Pretty sure that, that prompto was like 12, though. Wow. So I feel, I feel like one of the cool kids, you know? The cool, like the cool kids. The do yeah. like the cool kids. Like the cool uh, we kids. probably can't do stuff like that on this podcast. <laughs> it's too accurate. It's too. It's too, too good. Close. Too good. Yeah. Well, it's like even like what is it? you can only sing like so many seconds of a song before you're like doing a performance of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Because even covers are are still under the copyright of the songwriters. Hmm. Hey, I have a question. Did you ever do home ec? I did. It was complete BS. I never did home ec, so I to this day I don't know how to cook. Well, see, that's the thing. I took it because I wanted to learn how to cook, and I did no cooking whatsoever. And the teacher was crazy, and she cried a lot. Did you do a different kind of cooking, a la Breaking Bad? No, I wish. We watch we watch Hoosiers, which is the most what? boring Hoosiers. 
It's a basketball movie. The worst movie I've ever, like, one of the, I, I take it back. It's not the worst because I think Zoolander 2 is probably still worse. But this movie is so freaking boring and so bad. Like, I don't, it's insane that, like, it's a movie at all. I've never seen such an old-looking, boring movie in my life. And this was back in, back a long time ago. And it was bad. When movies were never boring because movies were new. No, no, I'm saying back then it was an old movie. So it must be like a kajillion oh, years ancient old. ancient now. Yeah, like uh, back then I was like, how old is this movie? And now now I'm an old man. and I'm that, So that movie must be like a bajillion. It's 1986. Like the Hoosiers. dinosaurs watched it. Yeah, it's so stupid. A coach with the, a coach with the checker pass and a local drunk train... A small wow, drunk train. It's a weird sent <laughs> combination of words. A local drunk pause train a small town high school basketball team to become top contender for Thomas championship. The tank engine, no. <laughs> this is that, the life that you wanted. That's an IMDb synopsis. Why would you want to watch this? That is the that's their one sentence elevator pitch. You but where's go- the part where Kurt Russell is the boyfriend and then they get married at the end? This is the prequel. Oh, I see. Hey, Emma Stone is in this movie. I forgot. Oh, yeah. This is like when she wasn't anybody. <laughs> yeah. Just a, an actress with a lisp. That was very interesting. Was like, wow. And that's neat. Represent, representing those with lisp. I'm still mad about it. I, I'm, mad, I'm hold on. I'm not. I'm not done because I'm still bitter oh. about having to watch Hoosiers in high school because my teacher had like a breakdown and she wanted to cry. What a <laughs> dumb. We, it was one of those things where you had to take notes and it was like legitimate, like write a paragraph for each one of these questions, and it was just like Wait. just too much. Whoa, I remember being really? like, it was like I remember being like actually hard and annoying. Cause then you missed it, and you're like, "Well, I don't have an answer for that." Now I just lost. I just lost ten points on this stupid homework because I I wasn't. I didn't know. I don't. I remember the questions being really terrible. Anyways, go ahead with your thing now. Uh, speaking of Emma Stone, uh, Zombieland three or what? Two. two. Wait, three. Two. One. Blast off was announced. I didn't watch yeah. the trailer yet. That's trailer. neat. I didn't really feel like that movie needed a sequel, but all right. Some people seem excited for it. It, 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 yeah, yeah, I agree. I would agree, but I did. I did remember liking it. Yeah, I, me too. I just, I think I watched it again and was like, that's all right. Like, it's to me, it's not like a movie I want to rewatch. Is how I kind of mm. felt about it. I think it's one of those like uh, at the time. I think a lot of zombie movies came out or something. Yeah, so it was definitely like, a, like, wow, this one's funny. Yeah. Whoa. Twenty-eight days later. More like 28 days. See you later. Uh huh. I, I tried my best. So I have a friend who looks like McLovin and wow. kind of acts like McLovin, but is it Yeti? Is competent. Is it Yeti Tactics? No, it's not. Because <laughs> Yeti Tactics kind of reminds me of him. That's pretty funny. No, it's this guy that I used to work with that, like, <laughs> he was actually competent. But his like mannerisms and stuff, and his haircut, and he has glasses. <laughs> yes, everyone with glasses looks like McLovin. We all know that. <laughs> it's true. Men, or, male or female or other, they all look like yeah. McLovin. Uh, Say someone puts on glasses, I'm like, whoa, McLovin! Oh shoot, that's yeah. someone else. Ah, uh, I got confused. Female presenting McLovin. Yeah. Wow, is that your McLovin cosplay? I say to my coworker every day, and he goes, "No, this is. I have to wear these. They are medical medical glasses." I can't wait for my McLovin cosplays to come in the mail. I still have to pick out which McLovin frames I want, but I'm gonna McLovin it up here, and like, I'm excited about that. You're excited about that. I'm excited about McLovin it up. How about listen, you? Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> and, <laughs> I know this is like partially a bit, but like you don't have to dunk on me that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm getting them too. That I'm. Wow. <laughs> listen. Cool, but you guys have like. Anyways. 
Emma Stone looks so different. Yeah, She's I guess so they young. all look yeah. so different, except for Michael Sarah. He looks exactly the same. Michael Sarah looks the same. Uh, Seth, Seth, um, Seth, uh, Jonah Hill. Jo- <laughs> oh, yeah, this is Jonah Hill. Mini Seth, <laughs> Seth. Green. Shoot, what is the other guy? Seth Rogen. Rogen? <laughs> is that right? Seth Rogen? Yeah. Seth Rogen. No, I think it's Seth Rogen. I was literally going to say that, and you took it from me, and I'm scared. <laughs> Small Seth Rogen <laughs> looks the same, Maybe but he lost much. weight. That's only... And cut his hair. That's only... Like, in, in, or in this movie, he's more, more weight, more hair. <laughs> he definitely looks like himself, but he looks like... You can tell that this is when he's young, but Michael Sarah looks exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. Michael Sarah looks exactly the same. And it's just like, who, who but I don't, blood is... But I still feel like Seth... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Super my, dad. S- s- no. Uh, <laughs> what is his name? <laughs> we, we broke your <laughs> What is happening? What is his name? <laughs> I keep saying Seth Green. <laughs> He's not even in this movie. <laughs> what is his name? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> not Michael. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. Jonah's Hill. Jonah Hill. Jonah's jo- Hill. Joe Jonas. Jonah Hill. I still think he looks the same. Just he lost weight. But I still think he really? looks the same. Really? I think he looks younger. No, I I disagree. He looks lost weight and shorter hair. That's my... <laughs> I forgot about this part. Yeah. It's, it's pretty funny. All right, I mean, I just I don't see what this has to do with Becca. Boys are... Listen. Okay. What was that you cut out? I said boys are weird. I don't do that. Speak for yourself. Not all men. <laughs> not all men. Not me. I, that's all. I'm I'm on Twitter a lot, just replying to people going, "I don't do that." Not all men. Not me. A lot. It's crazy. It's taking up a lot of time at work for me to make these replies. What are you I talking was, about? I on Twitter, I have to tell a lot of people that I don't do that. I'm not like that. Not all men. I have to. I have to let them know. I wish people would start saying like. Men, men need to stop this. Except for Jared, he doesn't do that. I wish they would start including that in their tweet, so I don't have to make the. the, the I. It's annoying for me to have to go and correct them and fix that error. That's to reply uh, to people on Twitter. Oh, I see. <laughs> have you? I don't know. I can't even. Dude, okay. There's ants everywhere. Summer sucks. Officially yeah. sucks. You know what you do? Um, the talcum powder. I heard lavender gets rid of them, but I actually don't like the smell of too much lavender. Then talcum powder. They hate it. Okay. They won't cross it. They're like witches. Doctors hate it. They're witches. Mm. Yeah. Um, why don't we skip? We gotta get to this movie. I'm like already done with this. <laughs> I I don't know. It's uh, my my idea was to just watch the McLovin parts, but I could just skip until we find it. But that yeah, it's pretty. Well, let me Google that. Um, all the scenes with McLovin. Yeah, where's my McLovin spinoff? Yeah, did he ever get his own movie? I feel like he should have. Or yeah, there have. definitely should have been a McLovin spinoff. I, man, indoor. I've never been in an indoor school. Yeah, I, I, there was a like a our, our, like our sister. My sister high school was an indoor school, and like I went there like once or twice. And I'm like, this is so crazy. But I bet they come to like my high school and be like, wow, the sky is just right there. <laughs> oh, those stupid <laughs> mole people. Yeah, I, I, 
I was going to say, maybe it's like a Californian thing, but then you said the sister school. Yeah. <laughs> That's also in California, right? But I always just thought of how cozy the indoor school must have been when it rained. And I'm always like, oh, man, that sounds so nice. You just Maybe, like, but can all... you just imagine the mass of people indoors? Yeah, that's not fun. I would hate it. I love going outside in the rain, so I guess that's a win-win. But, like, the coziness of being like, oh, it's raining outside and I can't go out there is, like, so awesome. I remember I would always get hot chocolate in the morning at the student store. Wow, that sounds awesome. It was, it was the best. It was the best. The best. Best. It was the best. It was the best of times. It was the worst. It was the worst of times. <laughs> I remember um, one of the teachers asked what I was doing at the student store. You're like, oh, yeah, I this. <laughs> yeah, I had a I had a friend who worked it, and so I was just hanging out. Worked it or worked IT? <laughs> worked it, and um, so the teacher was like, "What are you doing here?" And I said, "Just lingering." He was just like, "Lingering? That's a good word." And he was like an English teacher. So that's like not that. a good word. That's away. not like, wow, you your vocabulary is big. No, he did say, he said, you could have said just hanging out, but you decided to say lingering. And I was like, eh, you know, I'm but doing you, what, what But you I'm didn't doing. decide to use the word, um, uh. <laughs> Think, I was hoping I'd remember it by the end of the sentence. I didn't. I ran out of time. <laughs> Um, loitering. You should have said loitering. That's that's the next oh. level up. I should have said cooking meth. Mm, that would get you expelled. M- methods for math. Oh wow! I turned it around. You're an honor student. Extra homework. Uh, I want to play Fire Emblem. It just came out today. I know. Oh really? About Fire Emblem. But. Did that come out on what? Switch. Nintendo. Nintendo Switch, not Nintendo Station 4. What about Nintendo Box? Nintendo Box Station 5. What? That came out? Yeah. Does that have the new Mario face? The Mario face? Yeah. Uh, his good uh, grandson, Lario. Oh, no way. I was was wondering what they're gonna. He was gonna be named. I can't believe they went with my Twitter submission of Lario. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. I'm jumping up and down. Oh whoa! What? It's a uh, Dave Franco's in this movie. Wow! Wait a minute. Is this the same high school as the 22 One Jump Street? This is the same Maybe high he was school a that fresh... Ninja was invented in. Oh. This doesn't look like my high school. <laughs> but wait, uh, is Dave Franco like a freshman here? And then like maybe in 21 Jump Street, he's like a senior? Oh, man. But Jonah Hill is also in both movies. Yeah, but he graduated. He's a cop in 21 Jump Street. So, oh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> they, I mean, I mean. Dave we can, Franco we got held back like three times. To sell drugs. Danny Franco? Is that what you <laughs> No, I said, I said Dave. Was it Dave or James? No, wait. I got it now. It's Dave. Because James Franco is in Pineapple Express. This is how my mind works. With Seth Rogen. <laughs> Seth Rogen, who's also in this movie. There's got to be some alternate universe stuff. Yeah, I want to see Channing Tatum running in the background tackling some guy and trying to read him his Miranda rights. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, is... Super bad and twenty one jump street same 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 day? <laughs> same dad. Does twenty one jump street and super bad have the same dad? Yeah, that's the one with the little golden flakes. Uh I uh, I'm reading something. So have you ever seen the video of the guy making candy? The video. There's only one? <laughs> The, the video. I wish I, I wish people would record themselves for making candy more often. It seems like a cool process. There's only just that one with 10 billion views. Well, anyways, it's, I think they're making hard candy. and <laughs> Like, man, like I, Mike's I, hard lemonade? <laughs> Is hard candy meth? 
<laughs> the kids want some hard candy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sorry. Hey, bye. Well, I mean, it's, not, it's like a hard taco. <laughs> what is a hard taco? What is a hard taco? Like a, like a crunchy one. Yeah, it's a crunchy taco. No, it's like, a, do you want a soft taco or a hard taco? No, it's a hard, it's, it's soft shell or hard shell, not a hard taco. I've never heard anyone say hard and taco. Yeah, <laughs> all tacos are hard. No. If you think about it. What? <laughs> um. Anyway, so this guy's making candy and he's making my arms hurt. He's have, making like, your pain. arms hurt. Yeah. <laughs> How is he doing that? It, it looks like it's heavy and it's hard because it's like not warm. Yeah, but you're not anymore. doing it. You're okay. You're in your own house. Yeah, but in my I see it and then I just get like exhausted watching him. That's the problem. You just talk to your doctor. <laughs> Sympathy pain. Sympathy <laughs> pain. What is he making? Taffy? No, no, man. I got it. It's hard candy. What kind? It's the one where you put it in your mouth and then it goes <laughs> There's away. lots of different kinds of hard candy. I don't know. I'm not a candy wizard. <laughs> what about a source candy sorcerer? Oh, Maybe at least man. that. He's freaking my bean. What's happening in the movie? I don't know. Anyways, so there was this... Uh, this this head headline was super misleading to me. But Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum, 21 Jump Street is based on super bad. But the article is literally a paragraph. So good job, Hollywood.com. You managed to scrape out 200 words like a high schooler. Wait, and it had nothing what? to do with that headline. Wait. What are you saying? What are you saying to me? Hollywood Channing Tatum? Doc I'm saying Hollywood.com did a real bad job of making a quote-unquote article and then putting like 15 ads on the page. But Channing Tatum, Channing Tatum, Jonah Hill, and Channing Tatum. Uh -huh. uh, colon. Twenty One Jump Street is based on Super Bad. Twenty One Jump Street is based on Super Bad. Yeah, you want me to read the article because I could do the whole thing in one breath. It's so what, short. What does it mean? Okay, here I go. One is newly Oscar Oscar nominated. Thespian. The other is an actor having a year that could catapult him into the A-list. Together, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum make 21 Jump Street unexpectedly hilarious action comedy. A movie that turns tired nostalgia TV to movie concept on its head from minute one and wallops the audience with a full fury of R-rated laughs. The movie is a pleasant surprise considering all the gambles. It's the first movie Hill had a hand in writing, Tatum's first real comedy lead role, and a pair of directors, blah, 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 untested in the world of live action filmmaking. Thankfully, it all played out smoothly. I sat down with Hill and Tatum to find out how uh, how high school has changed since they survived those four years. Wait, <laughs> four what you're telling me? And then do is 21 Jump Street is Adventures. Movie success, the phrase cray cray is literally used by all. That's it. They don't ever explain the, the headline at all. Why would they say that? What you're telling me is... 21 Jump Street is just fanfic of Superbad. I guess. That I don't know. is nuts. And I'm... What? I mean, it doesn't actually say that anywhere. It doesn't say that anywhere in the article. That's just their headline. I don't understand. I don't, don't worry about understand. it. Don't, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to skip ahead on this movie. Like, 20 minutes. Let's see where they are. Oh my gosh. Well... Right into a fight. <laughs> yeah. They were high school students, and now they're in a fight. Oh, I do remember this part. I think he was dancing with that girl, and then her boyfriend's mad at them, so now he's going to kick them. I'm mad at you, and I'm going to kick you. I remember him saying that. Yeah. I, one for one. Hey, I'm going to read you this headline of something that I just saw that made me, like, giggle internally. Right, let's try this. Okay, Not let's try externally, this. because you would have heard it, but... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie delayed again. Gotta go slow. <laughs> That's pretty great. Wow, what a great act! Right, what a great writing. Is 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 yeah. Uh. Man, this crazy pants. Is it because of the movie Cats? Wait, 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 wait. Is it not gonna be February fourteenth? No. Oh, what? Oh no, what are your- you- it ruined your- I oh, know! No. I had so many reservations made. 
Uh, oh, no, no, you're right. February 14th. Okay, so this is the del- the first delay. Yeah, that is the delay. Wow, look at that. Sonic the Hedgehog speeding your way through your Valentine's Day plans. Good. My, my plans are saved. <laughs> Oh. oh wait, hey, there's Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. He is in this movie. Yeah, well, I knew I that. I don't remember this part at all. Do you know who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Man. What? What? I don't you know what you said. The mu- the Muffin Man lives on the pineapple under the sea. The Muffin Man lives in a pineapple under the sea. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. I just yeah. didn't, wasn't sure. So if you wanted to go visit him or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was trying to get his address. No, I just wasn't sure. I don't remember Seth Rogen being a cop. I don't remember, uh, uh, oh. what's his name? Wait, so he's a cop in this movie. Oh, and then it's Channing is, Tatum. Okay, very Is this connected to that, mm, what you say, skit? Mm, what you say? Probably not. Oh. But wait, wait, so was that Bill Hader? Is that his name? Mm-hmm. Barry? Yeah. Yes. Wow. I, I don't think I knew that. Mm, what you say? Mm, what you say? I, like, watch it and I'm like, why is this funny? <laughs> I don't get it. It's so, oh, it's so, it's so random. It's so random. This... This scene? This movie. I don't know. So, I guess just so everyone knows, they're dancing right now, but because I'm talking over it, I don't know what they're saying to each other. So, basically, it just looks like... Man, can you imagine being an extra and, like, there's probably no music playing? Yeah, and there's no music playing. You've been shooting for, like, eight hours. And you just, just gotta dance. Yeah, dance more! Dance more. The thing I would think though is, um, uh, like, are they all dancing in sync? How do they do that without any audio? I think they probably just go one, two, three, bump, 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 and then you just fake it. That's, okay. That, that that'd be my main concern is like everyone's dancing off beat. One guy looks like he's <laughs> You're dancing. You're doing the to, waltz. <laughs> yeah, one guy's doing the waltz. The other guy's like doing like hardcore like dancing and like kicking and doing spins. And like, well, whatever. They're act, they're actors. We're not paying them any. Maybe like a hundred bucks or something. Like that. No, nothing at all. Why would you pay them? They're 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 not even human. Oh no, they're robots. That's right. Robots are took your job. Twist. I'm Miss Shyamalan. Ding dong. <laughs> You're Shyamalan. Miss Shyamalan. I was a. Uh, I was thinking about where did that guy go. Um, after, after, probably after Hollywood. glass, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> the last one. He probably just went home. He probably just oh, went home to, to his family. To his family. Yeah. Two kids, his wife. I mean, he doesn't live like on the movie set, you know. I guess so. They have they have to go home someday. Do you think he was ever like a pretzel maker? <laughs> Do you ever think he was a pretzel? <laughs> I don't think he was a pretzel, <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Yeah, do you ever think he was a pretzel maker? Wow, to be to think I used to be a pretzel and now I'm an award-winning movie maker. No, you really can be you know, anything you dream of in America. Because while well, he was just you know just making pretzels at like Wetzel's Pretzels or Aunt, Auntie Anne's or whatever, he'd just be like, "Whoa, what a twist!" What I remember is I don't remember exactly what movie it was, but I remember uh, my, we were like my parents watch it or I watch it with them like on a DVD or something like that. And like, after the credits, he's like he had like a post credit scene where he's like, oh yeah, like or it was a DVD extra or something like that. And like it was him talking about like oh me and my my like my friends used to make these videos and it was like and he played it and it was like on like a like a VHS style recorder. So there's like no editing. So they used to do like pause. And like move, and then like like sword swing, and then you stop the camera, and then you like you start the camera again, and it was like really bad. But I always remember it was like those are the videos I used to make like as a kid too, you know. And it was like I, and I was like I could be that, and then I didn't. And now I'm sad. <laughs> but 
But I always thought that was a funny thing. I was like, it, anyone could come from whatever garbage you've ever made and still do a good job. Well, but what about if you were a pretzel maker? I mean, he became... I mean, no. Specifically not for pretzel makers. Oh. They don't deserve anything. Oh. They will make my pretzel, and they'll make it, and they'll like it, and they will not aspire to be anything more because I, I don't, then I can't have a pretzel. Aw. Well, okay, okay, what, what thing that's made, what's, what thing that's made that you wish grew on trees? Pretzels. Besides she, pretzels. She said money. Money. <laughs> money? What, what edible thing that's made? <laughs> oh, <laughs> something that's already edible? Apples. Wait, shoot, dang it, I wasted my wish. <laughs> like like popcorn? Um, no, because that's corn. It kind of already grows in a yeah, tree like. It, it needs to come pop. It's not that much more work to pop it. <laughs> not, I feel like it's not worth the effort. I mean, it's not worth the it's I mean, it's worth it's worth the effort. Yes. Um uh, uh you can just like walk off and pluck and it's all like what if it's like needs to be heated up? You're saying like in its fully edible form? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good question, man. Like that's your dreamland, your dreamland food, you know? I mean, this is this is for multiple reasons, like steak. How about that? Oh, that's pretty good. Because then it would save the climate and also be delicious. I think I would want it in like bite-sized form, though. I mean, you could just t take a bite of it and throw it on the rest on the ground. <laughs> I, could, I don't do that with fruit. <laughs> but you can, though. That's the thing. You can if you really wanted to. I don't want to. Sometimes I'm like eating an apple, and I'm like, I don't want this anymore. It's a freaking apple, it's, dude. It'll, it's like it'll, a waste. It's bio, if it's biodegrade, it don't care. We have an infinite of them. It grows on trees. We we have a finite number of them. No, nah, we have an infinite of them. They grow on trees. Like bananas. Bananas are different. We do have a finite number of those. We must cherish for them. Yeah, bananas are pretty good though. I forget how much I like bananas. I wish I, I want to try one of the original bananas. I'm still so sad about that. Kiss yeah. me up that night. That we have these like apparently bananas. crappy versions. And the crappy yeah. version's pretty good. So I really want to try the really good version. I heard that the the, the candies, you know, those fruit candies. Yeah, you, you heard. You mall? probably heard this from me because I say that all the time. But it's not the oh, same. Wait. I want the I want the real thing. I don't want the fake. I don't want the like. That's the, the chemical equivalent. I want the real thing. I want to bite into a banana you... and be like, oh my gosh, it tastes like candy. But I've seen pictures of the original banana and I hate them. Why? It has a bunch of seeds? They're, they're scary looking. But they're, that's, that's not a plant, but that's a plantain though. I think the original banana still didn't have, I think they could grow them without seeds in the middle, just like our bananas nowadays. Really? I thought the bananas nowadays don't have seeds because they're all clones. No, it's because of the yeah. Well, yeah, but they could. They, I think these were like that too before they got wiped out by the disease. I feel like the pre-wiped out diseased bananas, they were all seedy and scary. I don't think so, because we still have those. You could still go and get a plantain that has all the seeds. They're like almost unedible. But I feel like a plantain is different. Hold on, let me see. Pre-extinct banana. But I mean, even if they weren't. If they didn't go extinct, they could still make them. They could buy selective breeding or G, like or modifying the DNA. They could make them not have seeds. That's how they make the watermelons. There's what see those watermelons. Those can't be replanted. Those are all like grafted the same way that we grow bananas via grafting trees and whatnot. They don't like uh, collect the seeds and replant them like you normally do. I like my bananas more closer to greener. Closer to the greener head? Yeah, I've switched to like more, like oh, like more the more firm now. I used to be like, oh, I want, I like the ones that are like all soft because they smell they smell sweet. But I realize I don't like that flavor as much as the more I, they're still yellow. But I want them to right when they turn yellow. The second that there's no more green, I want that's when I want them now. I like the the texture better. Yeah, I, I def it's, it's definitely a, like a texture. I don't like mushy fruit generally. <clears throat> like. Um, I avoid mushy grapes, soft grapes. Yeah, mush, that, that always makes me give... That, I can't eat, like, mushy, like, grapes and stuff like that because I'm always like, these must be bad now. But it's, like, it's not necessarily the truth. Yeah, it just... I'm always like, it's gross. I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we skip ahead? Sure, they're about to do some drugs. Let's. Get I don't want to see that. They're just teenagers. That's wrong. <laughs> I just like now. <laughs> they're being you know, arrested. From taking drugs. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. I like this because it shows what happens when you disobey the law. You get punished. With a with a gas can, gasoline can. What do you call those? A gas can. Man, how young were they when this movie came out? I think this movie came out when I was in college, though. I don't believe you. Or was it high school? It was high school, dude. 2007. Oh, I thought it was 1973. No? Oh, yes. That was when you were in high school. <laughs> Listen, I'm just, I'm just saying things to say things. <laughs> Same. That's how podcasts work. <laughs> That's what everyone comes here for. Not for any scripted stuff or insightful improv this. No, they come for people saying things for the saying things. It's just noise at this point. Bah. You know, honestly, if someone made it this far in the podcast, thank you. Uh, just leave the podcast on so you get the... I don't know what that does. I think, I think you already downloaded it. I think that's all that counts. But I'm going to fill up the next 30 minutes with just this noise. Thank you for listening, everyone. Good night. Are you still making that noise or did it cut out? Oh, did it cut out? It cut out for me. Yeah, Discord was like, hmm, this must be nothing. And that's that's <laughs> all. Like that's all on the podcast though, so it's all good. Hmm, I see. Uh, what a what a movie! Oh no, he's giving. Oh, this is that's right because he thinks McLovin is older than he actually is. Oh, because he's like, yeah, he's like, you're cool though, because you have the ID. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Isn't that funny? That's kind of funny. It's not funny. It's sad. Oh. Uh, so we did the, that movie, we did that movie, we did Sargate, we did Grown Ups, we did Super Bad, we did Beverly Hills Ninja. <sighs> yeah, going down memory lane. With I'm, I'm looking at what movie we're gonna do next. There's a Matilda. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. what is he doing right now? He's making funny noises. I'm pretty sure if we, we, like... Now that I look at it, though, this movie, all this, you're right, it's... Uh, 21 Drift Street is this movie. They just went, like, what if the movie was focused on the cops instead of the kids? And they made, that's 21 Drum Street. They just switched out the actors, though. That's pretty funny. But it, it is. They're like, what if... That's all they did, where they were like, hey, these cops are, like, idiots. What if we made a movie about them instead? And they did. So it is based on this. <laughs> The way he runs is so funny. <laughs> that's how that's how I feel like I was running when I was trying to beat you to the room when we were at Comic Con. Oh, that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell the story now that you brought it up? Because you have to people on the podcast. Oh, uh, we're just getting so many tweets from people. No, yes, I think, I think about the story and you didn't finish it. I'm a Whoa, podcast Bobby, listener. This is how we sound. Every single one sounds like this. Okay, why don't you tell the story from your perspective? No, I'll okay. tell no, you, you tell it from your perspective, and then I'll tell it right. from my perspective. So, and I'll, I'll tell it from my perspective then. And then maybe we could switch off, or you want to, you want me to go and then you go, or how do you want to do this? Uh, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Go ahead. Okay, so then, this is from my perspective. <laughs> so, we were going, we were going up the stairs, or, <laughs> I don't know how it starts. Um, we were going to the hotel room, and, <laughs> um... Wait. Uh, us, you, me, and our group of friends. Oh. I don't remember who else was there. Yeti and Sarah, I think. And then, um, what were, is, was it because of the elevator? There was an elevator? Yes. Anyways, there's a branching path to get to the, our hotel room back at Comic Con. And then, um, like, they went to, there was like a weird elevator because you have to go up and then, like, it takes you somewhere or you could go around. And I was like, I'm not going to wait for the elevator. That's stupid. I'll go around. And then so, like, Tiffany and Sarah got in the elevator, and me and Yeti went this other way. And we were going, and we were, like, walking, and I'm like, I want to prove, like, I want to prove that the elevator was slower. Well, I was, I was at first, in my, after my mind, I'm like, I, I hope I beat them, because that'll be funny. And then I was like, I, and then, oh, and then there's a part, so we come out on top on, like, this balcony walkway thing. 
And I'm like, man, this is kind of like Mission Impossible. And I could see Tiffany's hair. And all of a sudden, she just takes off running. And I was like, oh, it's on now. So I take off running, too. And it was just really funny because we like kind of had the same thought process at the same time. <laughs> And I was just like thinking like, oh, it's like if someone was filming it from the side, I'd be running oh, yeah. in sync above you in the same parallel. Cause you're, I like, would be the tied. bad guy. You're yeah. like Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise chasing the other guy. Just like in that Pretty latest good. Mission Impossible or whatever. Yeah, Henry I'm Cavill. Superman. You're Tom yeah. Cruise. Oh, it was just like... I'm sure I'm. I'm pretty sure you were thinking the same thing I was thinking, which was like I want to be the winner because I think that proves that my path was better. And then I was like, oh, it'd be interesting if Tiffany there she is. And then like I think I was like, I should I run? And when I think you, you say, went, you're when like, you say you saw my hair. What does that mean? Oh, so you had like two little like what were the what are those called? Little Buns? volcanoes, <laughs> I guess. Little volcanoes. They're like little points, like horns. Like all I see is these like two little things, like, like kind of bobbing up and down as you as you took off running. But uh, what's so funny to me is I think you, we had the same exact thought process. Like I want to be first. <laughs> oh, there they are. Should I run? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and like uh, one uh, one person running goaded the other person into running, and they were all just running for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, from my perspective, um, it was exactly that. So, we were taking the elevator, and then you guys kept walking. But for some reason, Sarah stuck her arm in at the elevator door, so she wasn't letting us go. <laughs> Why did she do that? Which was, like, the weirdest thing. And I was like, what are you doing? And you so should have pushed her out that, and be like, try her. <laughs> try her. Yeah, I was like, what are you doing? You're working for them. And as soon as we said that and the, the elevator door opened, I was like, no. <laughs> so I booked it down the hallway. And uh, Chris Villain was there and he described me. He was like, you were running like some weird floating fairy wobbly thing. <laughs> and I'm just like, that's just how I run. That's right. Chris um, was there. I forgot Chris Villain was there. That's my bad. Yeah, because he was just like, what's happening? <laughs> um, he doesn't so, get like, it I, yet that we think the same. <laughs> I, I I did the whole like action movie thingy because I had to go out of a door, so I like threw my body against it to open it while running. Oh yeah. And then, that's good. <laughs> and then because of that, either because of that was really funny to me or the adrenaline, I started giggling. <laughs> I, we were all <laughs> laughing too because it's just the situation just so like. Yeah, I was like running down the hall giggling, and then I saw you guys, so I like I ran faster, and then I saw you coming down the stairs, and I was trying to think, I was like, am I going to shove him? Like, what's gonna happen? So yeah. I was just like, I just need to get to the Start door. Start punching as fast each as other. <laughs> and so, and then uh, because of the stairs, you guys had to slow down. Well, my so other I thing, I, I was I sl kept slowing down because there's two sets of stairs, and I didn't know which one I should go down. Oh no, you got so that also yeah, I was like, is it this one yet? He was like, No, go keep going and so I slowed down and that, that kinda messed me up too. Like if I was going full throttle I knew exactly where to go. That's the problem too, I didn't want to run past it because I was like, Well that's extra dumb. Um yeah. so it was just like what was also funny was that, that cost um, me the race. I guess, my you know uncertainty. How you, said you, you saw my hair. Yeah. I saw your guys' the shadows. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like running because it's, it's like so open much boxing. like a scene from Mission Impossible. That's exactly what they yeah. would do. Like, like they'd be walking, and then like uh, Tom Thomas Cruise son, he would see. Um, it'd be like something where he would see like someone's glasses, and be like, oh, and then like he thinks he's gonna get the drop on him, but then the enemy sees like his. You know, it's something that I'm sure yeah. exists in exactly, exactly in it some movie somewhere. Funny. There's something it, like. And I heard you guys giggling, and I was just like, <laughs> is there, I did hear, I, I think I heard, unless I'm remembering wrong, but I did hear, there she is. <laughs> the scatter. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was really funny. Uh, and that's Comic-Con. That's uh, what you can expect for a Comic-Con experience if you've never been to Comic-Con before. Running in uh, hotels. Like, yeah. Um, you know, just uh wear good shoes and uh you should be fun i got my custom fit orthotics and new shoes today i gotta i'm gonna test them out and i'm oh, hoping for twitchcon no i'm so mad but i'll be able to compare comic-con to twitchcon which is mm. coming up at the end of september which we will be big. going to if you are there come and meet us we'll give you some stickers uh, but i'm excited to like test these out and like wear them and walk around and do hu other human things in them <laughs> as humans do <laughs> that's not suspicious at all it's not so like, I went to uh, other human things and and not go to area 51 <laughs> yeah 
So speaking of, I went to Target recently and uh, I forgot how it came up, but I said out loud, I was like, oh, like the Area 51 thing. And one of the Target employees just went, I'm going like that. Like, <laughs> like uh, who wouldn't? Yeah, and I was just like, well, get your Naruto headbands ready. And then he like laughed. But then like, at the same time, I was thinking, I was like, was this guy serious or was he joking? Because he sounded, it's like, he sounded like he was acting serious. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't know. He's just a really good improvident actor, man. Maybe, maybe. Well, my thing is, there are people 100% going. Like, there's, there's people not, not going to go. Now, what are they going to do there? That's the question. But the people are definitely going to go because it's the same as going to, like, a con. And it's going to be like the, I went to Area 51 Meeting and all I got. Friends? Yeah, oh. it's, it's just like a big joke. It's just like, I went to Area 51 and all I got was a shirt. I'm sure that someone's going to make that shirt. You know, like, it is it is now a meme of itself. And the people are going to go just for the sake of that meme to say that they did it. And I, I totally appreciate mm. that. It's the, um, like, I, I my thing is I'm enjoying the jokes, but I'm, like, trying to refrain from too much. Like, <laughs> this is so great. Let me make memes about it. Because I'm also thinking... People are stupid, and it's only going to take someone to like egg on a crowd, and then someone's going to get shot, and then people are like, "Wow, they got some people. A hundred people died." <laughs> I want to be like, "Yeah, I was making all those jokes six months ago." So like, oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's hilarious, but I'm also like, These "People are going to die. It's not going to be funny anymore." <laughs> yeah. So I'm like bracing myself for the the stupidity of humanity sinking ever so lower into the depths of. The prevailing sadness as humanity humanity crumbles into fine dust that we all breathe in and we're choking as the Earth's atmosphere erodes on itself. When humanity becomes humidity? <laughs> yes. So hum, hum, so humanity up in here. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I saw the article where it's like the guy was like, the guy who made the... the initiated the joke he he's like i'm scared yeah <laughs> i was like oh no i mean i it's not, like i think people are gonna i i, I actually kind of want to go just to say i went because i know people are gonna go just to say they went and it's just yeah. gonna be it's the whole thing is gonna be really funny uh i would never go anywhere near a 51 i'd go to whatever town people are meeting at because i think that's just that's funny within itself and i mean honestly like if someone was smart they would start a con that happens that weekend like an alien con or something like that yeah shoot we can't hear this podcast anymore <laughs> oh tm 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 um but that's that'd be like the smart idea is like turn the joke into like a real business thing and like make a joke that you could people could actually go and enjoy and not die and then not, yeah <laughs> and then not <laughs> die yeah like or that town or whatever the closest town is they should embrace it you know and be like ah, yeah. and make it turn into a big party like you know thing and like all that the business could fun. make a bunch of money yeah because i mean dude soup is talking saying they like wanted like uh i think uh what's his bruce was saying it's like oh i want to go out there as a correspondent and like do like a news thing on it and i'm like dang i wish we had any sort of money and budget for that because i think that's good content and i wish we could go and like do a coverage of it but yeah i think i think it's gonna happen I'm, I'm hopeful that it's gonna be funny and be like <laughs> yeah ten thousand people showed up at this town and like completely oh it's gonna be fire fest the city <laughs> but they didn't want them <laughs> why are you here <laughs> or or what would be good if it's just like everyone who showed up donated a dollar to like some charity for yeah something. that'd be pretty that's good really that'd be good. pretty good yeah, that would be the best outcome. The Alien Rescue Society. Duh, that's what I'm <laughs> donating all my money to. But it would be like, like, foreign alien immigrant stuff would be kind of neat. Like, oh yes, 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 there. dude. Oh yeah. So that was um, I was talking to my coworkers a few work, like my ex coworkers a while ago, and go about like The Simpsons or whatever. Um, we get it. You got a new job. I got a new job. Uh, but it was funny because like I went, I asked him, I'm like, oh, is that that uh, the episode of The Simpsons? And he's like, he's like, oh, I don't. Know. He's like, um, what did he say? The way he said it was funny because I was like, uh, I, it was something like, oh, he's like, oh, he said something, and I was like, oh, that one ep episode of The Simpsons. He's like, no. And I'm like, yes, it is. And he's like, no, I mean, I, I don't know. I was like, don't you argue with me. I know all the episodes of The Simpsons. But I was telling, then we got into a conversation about The Simpsons. I was like telling him, I'm like, it's, I still watch it because it's so funny. We're like, I'm, it's that thing where you're like, I'm still discovering jokes I didn't get. But it was like, 
I've heard a certain joke so many times, I just stop thinking about it. And then every once in a while, I'll be like, wait, let me think about that. And there's a joke on The Simpsons I never got until like a month ago. And I was laughing so hard at myself for like not ever like really getting this joke and just like thinking it meant something else. And um, so it's, it's an episode of The Simpsons where Bart and Milhouse are taking care of the comic book shop for comic book guy. And then um, they find a secret stash of videos and they're like, oh, what's this? Alien autopsy, illegal alien autopsy. And like, I always just thought that was another like alien autopsy. And then I realized it's actually kind of a dark joke about like a human oh, illegal alien autopsy. You know, so I just like, I, it hit me and I was like, oh man, what? How did I not ever care or think about that? It was so funny to me. That is pretty crazy. Yeah, like, okay, uh, not as, uh, maybe, maybe less interesting or at least less, I don't know, whatever the word is, but there's like a Spongebob joke that I really like <laughs> because like it requires like, it's just not obvious and I'm just like, wait a minute, but it's when, it's the episode where Spongebob shrinks everyone on accident and then he puts, to keep them safe, he puts Patrick and Squidward in a jar. And then Patrick goes, it's like a pun or something. And I was like, it's because they're not in, they're they're in a jar instead of in a pickle. I would prefer if we would just do that at um Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not a very good joke. It's it's funny to me. I was like, Wait. I, I was, so he puts them in a jar and he's like it's like a pun yeah. or something and cuz they're in a jar instead of in a pickle. Yeah. He just goes it's, it's That's like not. a pun or something and that's it. That's but it. Yeah, but yeah, but the what does that mean? And then I was just like, oh, it's because they're in a jar pun. instead of... They're in a pickle jar rather than a pickle. Oh, they're in a pickle jar. Does the jar say pickles? Uh, it's obvious that it's a pickle jar. Um, what makes it obvious that it's a pickle jar? Jars are just jars. Oh, there's a lot of jars. They can hold pickles and they may not hold pickles. Listen, don't think about it. <laughs> I'm not sold it. that it's a good pun. I, mean, I, would just, but I, would, I don't think it's a pun. I don't think it's a pun, but it was like... Because Patrick is stupid, but like it was just like, oh, it's a thing. It was. Nah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that that's so many leaps of like thinking that like who's that who's that joke for? <laughs> like, yeah, who, yeah. That's who, what I was just like, Wait, who's what? that for? Because I would never put the effort into like making that calculation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it made me. It made me. I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> uh, SpongeBob. I'm gonna skip ahead because we're so close. That we're so close. Oh, How boy. long is this podcast? Uh, it's a long podcast. This is now at an over an hour. Jeez, damn it! Really? I, we've just been having such like a good conversation yeah. that I felt like it has been a few minutes. Just me and my friend just talking. Just the. Uh... When is this gonna be over? Gosh, I can't get out of here fast enough. <laughs> Wait, I just noticed Aranya's here, but she is, she's deafened in, what's the point? <laughs> she's not listening. She's here with us in spirit. <laughs> what a, <laughs> look at McLovin. Where is he now? Is he in the movie still? Let's see. Where is he now, McLovin? Can you see that? Uh, let's see. When was this article written? Oh, he was in How Do You Train Your Dragon. He voiced Fish Legs. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. He also, he was in Kick-Ass. Uh, some other kick -Ass is movie. a little bit old, though. This looks like an old article. Where is he now? I'm trying. This is really crazy article with like a bunch of ads. It's really hard to keep track of where. Am I in a different article or is this the same one? I can't follow. What the hell is happening? This is terrible. Um, tells in, okay. Who is McLovin? Why is the Superman meme going strong for twelve years? This this was written in, um, two thousand nineteen. Oh the, wow! There, this meme is not going strong for twelve years. This is June third. Uh, no, I have not seen a super McLovin meme in like a billion years. Uh, someone said happy thirtieth birthday, McLovin. That Seth Rogen did that on June third. Wow, that's really going strong. One tweet. 
on one day. No, don't be sorry. I this, be sorry. News articles. This isn't even news. Blog. Bad blog articles are bad. I'm going to anyway. have to drag him like I'm that. I'm going to drag him because I think it's stupid. Um, so, oh, no. I think of writing an article like this. I'm afraid to live with a bunch of people's people. tweets with very little writing to it. I can't. That was it. I don't know what I found. There was a bunch of people tweeting their their fake, super bad. Everyone tweeted pictures of this fake McLovin ID. Their fake fake McLovin ID on on the birthday that's on there, and that was a news article because it's been going quote unquote strong for twelve years, but it hasn't. It's just people tweeting about his birthday, his fake fake birthday. Um, what an interesting article. Is it the same article as the one that you were reading? No, but words? honestly, I think this one had even less words than that other article. <laughs> can't, can't believe it. But I think it had like zero words written, and a, but it's just a ton of tweets, just like embedded tweets. Okay, 2018. <laughs> this is July 29th, so almost a year old. But then and now... Uh, Michael Sarah like does look ex oh my gosh Michael Sarah does look exactly the same except for he has a mustache now it's like the same hair and everything though I hate it um, okay McLovin uh, guest star in season 3 IFC's Stand Against Evil which would debut 31st Fish Legs that's pretty much it he did like two things do you think uh, Michael Sarah like he he like is cursed you know what I mean like to look that way forever, like he's yeah, he's, he's like, like I want to grow to up. Travel, but he's stuck I want to way. grow up, and I cannot. Uh, Joe Lo Trugalio, I don't even know he's in this movie, but he's now in uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine as Charles Boyle. Uh, good to know. Good to know. What, who is he in this movie? I don't know. Francis. Who the hell's Francis? I don't know who that is. is he in high school with them? I don't know anything. Why are you, why are you even here then? I don't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. <laughs> what is happening? This is the uh, end of the movie. I don't really have anything. Oh, they go off to college. Is that what happens? Yeah, that was the whole thing, right? Like they were going to different colleges, and Seth. Damn it, Jonah Hill. <laughs> He was sad about it. He was like, oh, I'm sad that you're going off to college and I'm not smart enough to get into that one. I'm Jonah Hill. Is that the voice? Is that, is that the voice you're sticking with? What do you think? I don't know, man. Don't ask me. That's a voice that we have. You talk to me. I'm Jonah Hill. Come see my movies. I play many different roles. They're all different. They're not the same role. Sometimes I play a kid, sometimes I play an adult, sometimes I put on a fat suit, sometimes I lose like 50 pounds. I, I tweet about it and I say, damn, I'm hungry. But that's not my character, that's just me tweeting sometimes. I, I sometimes I tweet as me, but I play the characters on a movie screen. When I play those characters on a movie screen, my name's not Jonah Hill, unless I happen to be playing a character named Jonah Hill. I've not done that, though, but sometimes... Maybe one day I'll do that, but not, I haven't done that yet. I play different characters, and different people. I pretend I'm someone else, and I play them on the screen, and that's how I go. And I, I go, hey, my new name, look at me, do do do. I make a new voice. Well, I don't know to do a new voice, and you just use my my current voice, this one that you hear. And in the one movie, I, in this movie, in Super Bad, I play a high school student. The funny thing is, I wasn't in high school at the time. A little bit older at the time than I would be in high school. I thought, what a clever idea. Play someone who has been in high school when I'm not in high school. And I went, that's hilarious. What a funny movie. And that was the whole premise of the movie. is me playing a high school student, even though I'm not a high school student. So, that's that movie. And it's a lot of fun. I had a great time. I worked with Michael Sarah. He also played a character not named Michael Sarah. His name was Evan in the movie. Can you believe that? His name Evan? When his real name is Michael Sarah. <laughs> they got me cracking up when I read that out loud on the script. That's right. What you're saying is not happening in real time in the movie. It's all written down ahead of time. And then we, say, and we, we read it. And then we remember it. And we say it back out loud at a precise moment. 
That's how movies are made. Anyway, this is Michael Sarah. Good night and goodbye. Okay, uh, four things. <laughs> One, I I was just listening. I was just listening. I didn't want to interrupt you at all to see how far you would go. Two, I was listening to this character of Jonah Hill dissolve into like some weird old man thing. Okay. Three. You were saying some words really weird, and it's so. <laughs> but I read. I already forgot what word. But it, like, it, I wanted to say it out loud, but I didn't want to interrupt you. Four. You ended it with my. This is Michael Sarah. You started it off with this is Jonah Hill. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jonah Hill. <laughs> Michael. Ah, oh, whatever. I, I oh. nailed it up until the end. They fumbled it. <laughs> I guess I'm to start over. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, that was my I'm favorite character there. I ever made. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I kept saying Michael Sarah at the end, and I got confused. That's what yeah. happened. Jonah Hill, <laughs> Jonah Hill does. I'm Jonah Hill. Sometimes I think I'm Michael Sarah. I get confused like that because I'm looking at Michael Sarah, and I think that's me. But that's not a mirror. That's a different person. I get confused. <laughs> there. I'll just edit that together. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, oh boy! Did that eat up like twenty minutes? That ate up something. I could see where I did that on the sound wave because the, the 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 wave sound waves dip down. <laughs> They're all low. <laughs> so I could see that block. Also, you stopped talking, so your 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 uh your track is like empty. <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, hmm, I wonder how long. He I'm not going to try to rescue him or anything like that. <laughs> I don't need rescue. Fun. I could go forever with that character. Uh, Michael Hill? Michael Hill, Sarah. <laughs> Michael Hill, Sarah Rogan. Jonah, Sarah. Jonah, Sarah, Hill, Rogan, Michael. <laughs> and then Dwight. Dwight? <laughs> Wait. Is it not Dwight? Who's Dwight? Who's who's Bill Hader? Oh, who in the movie? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. If you if it's Dwight, I'm gonna just lose my mind. Oh, I just <laughs> typed Super Dad again. What is happening? <laughs> this is not a good. I okay. Now I type Super Bab. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned the, the <laughs> I just turned the D's backwards. <laughs> Officer Slater. Not even close. It's Dwight. No one is named Dwight in this movie. Is he Dwight in the office? Is that him? No, that's Ryan Wilson. Rain Wilson. No, oh, that's right. That's right. I get them confused. I guess. I mean, they don't look anything alike, but I guess you could. I, the characters. I don't know. I. I look. Hey, I, I work over. for Rain Wilson. I would never get, make that mistake. I don't know. I'll they all look the same to me. He called me on my cell phone from his Chevy Volt. We talked, and it was hard to understand him because he was driving a car. <laughs> oh, I got I got gifts from my favorite voice actors. I'm not even favorite voice actors. Like one out of, you know, like. Anyways, doesn't matter. That's just but you checking them off. Checking no, them off. Nothing matters. One at a time. Yeah. Oh boy, okay, so we're going to rate this movie based on how we think it worked for a group viewing experience, and if you want to have one too with your friends, you guys could kind of use it as a loose radar, radar to be like, wow, that movie's bad, but they had a great time, they rated it high, or like, I know this is a bad movie, but they rated it low, maybe it's not so much fun, at least that's our opinions, uh, so you could use that. Uh, except for Tiffany always rates it a 10, so it doesn't even like matter, because she doesn't take it serious like there's I do. There's two movies, there's two <laughs> movies that I did not, I did not. What movies are those? It was Shark Avalanche, Avalanche Shark, mm -hmm. and something else I don't remember. Oh my gosh! If you if you nailed that, I would have like what? like what? Because I can't remember like what movies we watch on this podcast anymore. That we're almost at a hundred. I'm if like, if I saw a list, I'm pretty sure that you I'll... could pick it out. Okay, if you saw a yeah. list with all the ratings that everyone gave me, you could probably find out which one you did. <laughs> Anyways, Correct. we're gonna do that, but in a second, I just want to remind you guys again. 
updownupdie.com. Check that out. Buffalobuddies.com for more information about this podcast. And if you launch any more, updownupdie.com will be the place to go. I'll also try to announce them on this podcast if we ever launch them, but I'm working on one or two. So keep in mind about that. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Join our Discord. Uh, do all that stuff. Follow our YouTube channel. Um, check out our Twitch channel that me and Tiffany stream on. We do that like a lot. That's our main thing. This podcast is just for fun. That's our main thing is our Twitch channel. Um, 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 we'll be at TwitchCon. We just came back from Comic-Con, but we'll be at TwitchCon. So if you're planning on going there, let us know. Hit us up, whatever. And that's kind of it, I think. Nothing too special. Um, I'm going to rate this movie now, I guess. Okay. Um, so not because you said that, but also because you said that. Uh-huh. I'm actually going to give this movie a 3 out of 10 uh high school graduates but the character that of michael hill sarah at the end <laughs> is a seven so that's a <laughs> 10 out of 10 <laughs> what <laughs> Wait, oh you added them together together, <laughs> you added them together. <laughs> wouldn't you average I can't them tell if I, I can't tell if jared's talking or if uh, michael hill sarah's talking no, no, no. oh i already forgot the character well he's dead forever now <laughs> so it's not him <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah. I did okay. add the scores together. Oh, okay. That's not correct math. Um uh, three, eight, three and seven? Well what is ten. Wait, what is your actual rating though? Ten out of what? Ten out of ten. Three out of ten high school graduates. Oh, okay. And seven out of ten. Four specifically I'm typing this out. <laughs> uh the four specifically Mike Michael <laughs> Hill Sarah. Okay, <laughs> but those those that one's not a noun though. It's just extra points. <laughs> okay, points. okay, 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 okay. You twisted my arm. You twisted my arm. Uh, uh, this is eight out of, I'm gonna give it eight out of ten. Uh, s- super bads. <laughs> super dads. Oh yeah, I like on super dads. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> wow. Wait, I meant. Hold on. Oh, wow. I really messed that up. I'm going to go Super Dads because it's funnier than what I was thinking. I was trying to call it the other movie, 21 Jump Street. I forgot what movie we were watching. I'm really tired, I guess. But yeah, Super Dads is funny. I'm going to go with that. Um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Next movie will be Matilda when this comes out um, and all that stuff. Goodbye. Yeah. And that's how we end the podcast. So we hit the podcast is over now and so sometimes well like a little musical we'll play but sometimes it don't play but we usually we say goodbye and we thank you all people for listening and you're all listening now this isn't live so it's going to end now but you you don't have to say goodbye but we say goodbye to you and and like it's going to end and the audio will stop but if you're using like an application to listen to this you'll probably start playing the next podcast it won't be this one it'll be a different podcast because it doesn't that doesn't work like that. We haven't released not we only released one episode at a time. It's not live now, so but goodbye. You don't need no, no, you don't need to say goodbye back. I can't hear you. This isn't it isn't live. I can't hear you. I'm I'm recording. I'm not there with you. I'm not there with you in the same room as you. I'm not the sheriff.